will help you get rid of sciatic nerve pain. I'm Caroline Jordan and I'm a health coach at Caroline Jordan Fitness. Joining with me is Mark Robinson, Doctor of Physical Therapy with Evercore Injury Recovery. We're here to teach you the daily exercises to do to get rid of sciatic nerve pain. So if you're in pain, I want you to follow along and join us as we move through the five exercises for you to get rid of sciatic nerve pain. As always, check with the doctor before starting this or any exercise routine. Honor your body, move mindfully, and let's get you started in moving to feel better today. The first exercise we're gonna do is going to be press-ups. So Caroline, go ahead and go down into the prone position. You're gonna be on your stomach, your hands are gonna be under your shoulders, and then you're gonna go ahead and press your arms upward and straighten your arms out. And as you do that, you wanna go through your comfortable range. One of the most important things with sciatica is you don't want your pain to travel down your leg. You need to be sure that your pain is going upward. So when you do this, try to go up to that point where you feel comfortable. Don't push up too high if you're starting to get pain. But the press up can be very effective. Doing about 10 repetitions is enough. So that's the first exercise. Now, the second exercise is gonna be pushing up into the cat-cow position. So for this exercise, your hands are under the shoulders, the knees are under the hips, and you're gonna find what's called a neutral position with your pelvis. That's where your back is just nice and flat and there's a, a minor curve in the low back. Then you're gonna go, you're gonna push the ground away to curve this part of your back upward. That's known as the cat stretch. So you're stretching like a cat and you're rounding out the low back to get some good movement in the spine. Then you're gonna go ahead and dip down and arch the lower back, bring the head upward, and this is known as the cow position. And this movement, you're just gonna go back and forth nice and easy, and you wanna make sure that you feel comfortable with this. But if you're in sciatic nerve pain, then you might find that this can provide a lot of relief because many times, the sciatic nerve is coming from the lower back. That's right, the nerve roots in the lower back join together. They form a sciatic nerve, and that nerve can get irritated for various reasons. So that is one of the most effective exercises that you can do to start to introduce some gentle movement. The next exercise, since you're already in this position, is called the bird dog. You're gonna go ahead and you're going to bring one of your legs back and then you're gonna bring your opposite arm overhead. And as you do this, you wanna keep your lower back position in that neutral position in which it's nice and flat or there's just a slight curvature to the lower back. And then you're gonna hold that for about two seconds and then you bring it back down. This is a great exercise because when you hold this position, you're not creating a lot of stress to the lower back because you're not twisting it and you're not bending it but yet you're able to strengthen the hip muscles and you're able to strengthen the lower back muscles, which helps them reduce pain. That's known as an isometric muscle contraction and that's been shown by research to help provide pain relief. Now you can do both sides. You'll do multiple repetitions, usually about two sets of 10 repetitions for most of these exercises. And then the next exercise that we're gonna try is going to be the side plank. So go ahead and lay on your side position. The elbow is gonna be right underneath the shoulder. And then you're gonna go ahead and be on either the feet or the knees, but for we'll do the knees first. You're going to lift your hips up off the floor, extend your hips forward a little bit so your body is a straight line. You can raise the arm up overhead and you're gonna hold this for about 15 seconds. When you're on your knees, it's a little bit easier, but there's some other modifications that you can do to make this easier or harder, depending on how you feel. Then you would come down after 15 seconds, rest for about five or 10 seconds, and then you would repeat the exercise by coming up. You're really gonna feel this in the hip that's down closest to the floor. I know you feel it, Caroline. That's <laughs> right where you're gonna experience the muscle tightening up but that's a good thing because your hip is gonna get stronger and you want your hip muscles to stabilize your lower back. You're gonna draw your stomach inward, squeeze the abs a little bit, 
and you're also going to be squeezing the obliques, which are the muscles on the side of your spine. Hold for 15 seconds and then come right back down. And then you would do both sides. And that is going to be very effective for strengthening the lower back and the abdominal muscles, okay, to take pressure off the sciatic nerve. And the last exercise, we made it. Exercise number five is going to be the clamshell exercise. You're going to be laying on your side with the knees bent up a little bit, the feet are together touching, and then you're going to bring the top leg upward. Now with this exercise, you're going to feel it in the side of the hip. That's the muscle that we're trying to strengthen right now. And we're getting the hip moving. And if you're experiencing sciatic nerve pain, it can be beneficial to get a little bit of movement through the hips, and that can help to alleviate some of that pain and to get the nerve to be more desensitized. Now, as you do this, you want to make sure that you stay fully on your side. One of the common compensations is to rotate the, the hips backwards like this, but you don't want to do that. You want to make sure you fully stay on your side so you can isolate that muscle and so you don't stress the lower back by turning and rotating. So these five exercises can really help to reduce your symptoms of sciatica. If you are looking to get rid of sciatic nerve pain for good, there are things you should and should not do. And we can help you with that process. Click the link below to download our free Get Rid of Sciatic Nerve Pain guide. We'll take you through a daily exercise routine that will help you get rid of sciatic nerve pain step by step. It's completely free and it's here to help you get rid of sciatic nerve pain. So click the link below and download to start healing now. Thank you so much for watching this video and we'll see you again soon.